I can't stop smiling. The AI is watching me. Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Act the Wretched Watchman. I'm bringing you a little new, little bit of news when it comes to the AI overlords that are upon us. And uh, yeah, we're getting some news coming out of Japan regarding AI programs that are being installed in order to make sure employees are smiling at the customers. Oh, I kid you not. It just keeps getting more and more dystopian every single day. So let's take a look at the news coming out of Japan. It says Japan's supermarket chain uses AI to gauge staff smiles, speech tones, and quality service push. Aeon is world's as the world's first company to use AI to measure attitudes of customer-facing employees. This is just oh my goodness, this is dystopian. As I'll get out. This is Japanese supermarket chain Aeon has adopted an artificial intelligence system to assess and standardize its employees' smiles, renewing the debate about workplace harassment. Sounds like they're being harassed by the AI system to me. On July 1st, the national brand announced it had become the world's first company to promote a smile gauging AI system, which it uses, uh, which it is using across its 240 shops around the world called Mr. Smile. I, I think I've seen a slasher movie featuring a guy by the name of Mr. Smile. Just, just thinking, just thinking that's creepy. Um, it, it was probably a clown too. Uh, it is, uh, sorry. It was developed by the Japanese technology com company Insta VR and is said to be able to accurately rate a shop's assistant service attitude. The system draws on more than 450 elements, including facial expressions, voice volume, and tone of greetings. Uh, it has also been designed with game elements that invite staff to improve their attitude by challenging their scores. Guys, this is just what, what do I even say about this? This is just, this is like kindergarten level training to make people become uh, uh, slaves, servants to the AI overlords. That's ultimately what is going on here. This is some seriously creepy stuff. Um, it says Aeon, uh, Aeon said it, it ran a trial of the system in eight stores with about uh, 3,400 staff members. I would not be one of them if I was there and found service attitude improved uh, by up to 1.6 times over a period of three months. 1.6 times all of that for 1.6. When the service uh, industry workers are forced to smile, according to a standard, it looks to me like they're another form of customer harassment. One uh, respondent said smiles should be beautiful, heartfelt thing and not be treated like a product. Another said people are different and they also use also express their uh, affections differently using a machine to standardize people's attitudes sound cold and silly. Now, this is important because this is ultimately what's being done when it comes to the school system already. They're making it a one size fits all type of thing where you have to be programmed. You have to be uh, indoctrinated with one specific set of ideals and learning standards in order to progress. Things like Common Core and all this stuff are playing a firm part with that. This is in that area. This also has to do with um, understanding uh, who's a good employee and who's a bad employee, specifically based on their uh, uh, personalities and stuff. There's some people that I know who are extremely friendly who just don't smile and they have a very monotone voice, but they're still very friendly and, and, and easy to work with and whatnot. I, I just went to the grocery store, actually, uh, the night of this recording. I went to the grocery store. The checkout person uh, who was doing my stuff was a very uh, just kind of, you know, just monotone and body movement and, and voice but was still very friendly and interactive with me. And, and I thought it was great. I'd much rather have that type of person that I'm interacting with than somebody who's fake having to put on a smile that really doesn't want to be there. And is even more aggravated that they have to put on this type of show in order to do it. This, again, this is also a judgment on who's good uh, employees and who's not. If you have somebody who's constantly in a bad attitude as an employer, wouldn't you want to know that so you can either find somebody better or something like that? This is a serious problem that seems to be moving in the direction of trying to program AI uh, automation bots 
when that time comes. As we know, in China and in other places, uh, what is it? The UK has got one. I think Germany has got one. A couple of the, the airports all around the world, even here in the United States. I think Canada has one as well. Mexico, I know, has one um, where it's uh, AI staff list stores. You walk in, You there's a little th- uh, turnstile. You scan uh, your account so they know it's you. You walk through the AI biometric system, pays attention to your face as well as all of the items that you put in your bag. And then when you walk through the exit turnstile, you don't have to check out. You don't have to go to a staff person. You don't have to do anything. You just walk out. The AI recognizes your account and what you took and automatically takes the money out of your account. And so this seems like a good way of pushing people out. This seems like a good way of training AI and learning things as well as a social credit system. Uh, A lot of this has to do with registering and and training and conditioning, not only the AI, but also uh, the, the, uh, the, the citizens to function a certain way. Otherwise your social credit score is going to go down. If you're always walking around grumpy and you have a bad attitude and you're saying bad things, they're going to take that as a, uh, a chance to lower your score. And so this fully seems like a training simulation, training program for not only AI, but also for individuals as well. This is just so dystopian um, on how this is really playing out when it comes to this. Now, we got a little bit uh, more from a different article. It says, sinister revolutionary Japanese supermarket chain is using AI to monitor monitor staff smiles. Japanese supermarket chain Aeon has become the first company to leverage AI to monitor the tone and demeanor demeanor of its customer-facing staff. Created by Instant VR, the Mr. Smile, again, that's just creepy. Solution aims to gauge and standardize the smiles of customer service employees across Aeon's, Aeon's 240 stores. The tool claims to be able to analyze over 450 elements, including facial expressions, voice volume, greeting tone, and the AI-powered program that then uses this data to create customer-facing employees' overall attitude. This is literally a soft uh, social credit score. That's ultimately what this is. Moreover, Mr. Smile also contains a competitive game element that encourages staff to achieve higher level scores by improving their attitudes. Look, Ma, I got the high score on Pong. That's really what's going on here. While Aeon has uh, stated that its employees' attitude uh, has have improved, or does it just act that way? It does not specify if the information is garnered from the Mr. Smile solution or from direct feedback from AI, Aeon employees. This, in a nutshell, illustrates the issue of measuring customer services agents' attitudes. By pressuring agents to act in a particular manner that is deemed agreeable by the company, they are losing their individuality and freedom to express themselves as they see fit. The uh, inauthenticity authenticity that the solution encourages has drawn criticism from several unnamed Japanese customer service workers in a union survey. That's interesting though, losing individuality and freedom to express themselves as they see fit. You know what one of the main elements um, to communism is creating uh, communism? Uh, I've often, not often, but several times I've referenced uh, uh, Skousen, uh, his The Naked Communist book. And one of the main elements to creating this Marxist communist uh, society has to do with destroying culture and reducing the ability for creativity, individuality, and uh, freedom of expression. That's why when we see all of the buildings now that are being created, we have a different, uh, if you go back to the 90s, you take a look at something like a McDonald's building. It was this big, colorful, it was an eyesore, but it was creative and it was, it had color and it had flair and there was different angles and stuff. And now they're being replaced with boxes that are monotone gray and, and uh, beige and there's no color. There's no, uh, there's no uh, creativity. There's no flair to it. Back in the day, you walk into a, a Taco Bell and they had all the random colors and and even they had like trees with faces on them and stuff like that. All of that has been removed. It looks like you're sitting in a cafeteria in a prison. Why are they making these big moves? Why are they doing things like this where it's removing personality and and uh, and, and people's individuality and freedom of, of creativity and all this stuff? Why are they removing this stuff? Because it reduces the morale of people. It makes them more tamed. It's the same thing when you take a wild lion and you place it in ca- captivity over a long period of time. It's going to lose 
that inner beast. It's still going to be there, but it's going to become dormant and it's going to just accept that it has been placed in a prison. This is the same thing that's going on here. They want their customers to be placed in a prison at work, putting on a fake smile in order to keep a job, in order to just survive barely if they're not moving on to the next job afterwards uh, in order to continue to survive. This is fully a part of creating a communist society. As we know, this is going to, the B system is going to be taken even further than communism. I've talked about how it's going to become a neo-feudalistic technocracy. Well, this is the technocracy side. This is absolutely the technocracy side. And it's only going to get worse from here, especially with the rollout of more and more and more biometric surveillance and AI programs like we're seeing here. Now, ultimately, all I can say is praise the Lord that we have the promise of the blessed hope. Praise the Lord that we have that. And we're not going to be here when the beast system gets fully online and running. Praise the Lord for that. So just keep in mind, this may be going on in Japan, but for everybody, whether you're watching the United States, Australia, Canada, Europe, wherever you're at, they're always watching. They're always watching. But just remember, God is watching them, so we have nothing to worry about. All right, guys, I'm Zach the Rich Watchman. Thank you guys for joining me today. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out. Maranatha.